Um, I'm super excited. Um, you know, I was a Duke fan growing up, and so you know I knew about all the blue blue bloods and all that. So I always watch UCLA as well, and um, so that's just one of those games that you don't even have to get worked up for it. You're already you know anxious. And then um, Tiger Campbell, he's a former uh, teammate of mine. He used to play on one of my AU teams, so I really want to play him as well. And yeah, like. We're ready, and they're in first place. We're in second place. We win this game, we be in first place, I guess, or tied. And so this is it's, it's a lot of stakes riding on this. But at the end of the day, just another game. You know, we take it one day at a time, trying to get the win. And um, you now you win. You know, good things happen. So. What team was that that you played on the Tiger? Um, it was called WACG All Stars. We all can go, and it had. Actually, had me, Tiger, Marvin Bagley, which was Marcus Bagley, see, Bagley's big older brother, um, John Petty, um, Darius Garland, a lot of a lot of good players. So, yeah, that was a fun team. Is it possible to almost be like too keyed up for a game like this? Like, how do you make sure that you guys are doing all the normal things that you should be doing? Yeah, and I um, I definitely take a page from that Arizona book um, because in that game I was. I would say overly prepared, too ready for the game. And I feel like, you know, just thinking, <laughs> overthinking the game and what you're going to do, um, it can really take away from just being in the moment and, you know, just being ready to play and take whatever, you know, how the game um, goes. And so, yeah, just thinking about that um, kind of helps you prepare for a game like this. So. Having played with the Tigers before, what, how have you seen um, I would say he's become a true – well, he was always a good point guard, but now, like, everything just – all his skills, you know, just increase. Like, he can really run a team, figure out what their team needs in times of, you know, when in term or term, term oil when they're, you know, not playing well. And um, he can facilitate, shoot, get to any spot on the court. So, overall, he's a really good player, really good point guard. But, you know, we, we play really good defense, so he's going to have a hard time. Um, you know, well, we're going to try to make it a hard time, you know, doing whatever, you know, it is that he wants to do, so. You excited for the atmosphere on Thursday? Man, you, you don't understand, bro. I'm so excited. Like, like these, these are the games that you really, um, you really look forward to. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to be too, too overly excited like the Arizona game, but, yeah, I'm ready to, ready to go. So for uh, both of you guys, the team's 15 and 3, haven't lost a conference game yet. Uh, going up against number five UCLA, but still unranked. Do you guys feel a little disrespected by that? Um, I was, you know, coach. Coach talks about that. You know, he feels like uh, we haven't got our respect. You know, but that's not gonna change how we play. You know, we're gonna especially we're gonna play especially hard for this game because this is for number one spot in the pack. So you know, we're looking forward to that. But um, honestly, <laughs> like we've been um, underrated like our whole lives, so it ain't it's nothing new. All right. And, you know, you want to be there, but you know, like at the end of the day, you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Couldn't say it better myself. So, you know, if you keep winning, they have no choice but to respect you. So that's that's my motto. We just keep, you know, shining, and they have no choice but to see you. So. Oh, one of them is him. <laughs> big shot maker, him and DJ, you know, those are go-to guys. You know, if we need a big shot, you know, they can create their own. And like you said, our emphasis on defense, you know, just making those stops. And, like, like we rely, like, on our defense. And, you know, if you can defend, you know, it, it makes up for a lot of stuff. Because, like, listening to, like, commentaries and stuff, they say we, we're not great at anything. Like, you know, they say we don't shoot it good, we don't shoot free throws good, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, as long as we defend, man, you know, it's done kept us in, in a lot of good games. And, yeah. And, and just to add on that, I say we have we have poise. We we've been we've played a bunch of games, like the Col Colorado game. I will always revert back to that one because there's just no way that we should have won that game, in my opinion. Like it was literally crazy <laughs> how that happened. And I still go back to this day and rewatch like the last five or ten minutes because it was just so insane. And um, when you have that to go back on, you you're able to stay calm. Like in the situation, like when when the ball went through his hands and um, 
I forget his name, but the point guard shot the three the last game versus Oregon State. That's a time where, you know, you could fracture and, you know, you could start pointing fingers and blaming people. But, you know, we just stayed together, stayed solid. And what are we going to do in the next play to win this game? Because at the end of the day, if you win, the mistakes, you know, are forgotten. So, so, yeah. Um, I think like mind games. Uh, that's what I that's what I call them. Like are big are important too. And uh, I'm kind of one of those guys, you know, like just feeling. Cause sometimes it's just about basketball. You're just going out there and playing. But sometimes if you're like an evenly matched team, what's going to give you that edge over the next? And you know, you might you know say something in in the guy's ear here or there and make him act out of character or do something because you said something to him and now he's thinking about that and not about the team you feel me so you know it's all a part of the game and uh yeah i just think since we're have veteran guys and older guys we we know that and so yeah it's all all is fair you know when you're in between the lines so what might you say to tiger to get him out of rhythm uh <laughs> We're not gonna say that on camera. <laughs> we, but yeah, man. But but literally, it could literally be anything. Um, usually, you try to go, you know, personally, personally attack someone because that gets, you know, your feelings and emotions involved. So yeah, it literally, yeah, it's not, it's not. Yeah, it would be tailored to whatever you know that person. I feel like their weakness is, you know. So. I um, it really doesn't matter because it's hard to fluster me. So, you know, good luck with that. So. Devin, we know you played in the NCAA tournament with Auburn, but Des, would you say this is the biggest game you played in college yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that because the, the stakes riding on this game is, is definitely bigger than any one that I've had. So, yeah, uh, that, that could be truth. Like, where would this rank for you? Um, say around third, because I know uh, we we could have tied our last year. We could have tied the regular season championship if we had lost our last game. So that was a big one. Then you know going to the NCAA tournament, that that's also a big one. But this one is also going for number one spot. So like it's it's, it's definitely up there, top three. And what's your reaction? Uh, you know, I'm happy for him. You know, we all we all show love to our family. You know, um, you know, like I said, he's, he's a big part of this team. You know, him and DJ, you know, they can score it at a high clip. And yeah, it's nothing new, really. You know, well, for this right. conference, but you know, he's been doing it his whole career. Right. Yeah. Are you guys going to see this on campus since they come back from the break? What's your guys' message for them? So um, please show up. Like I said, I promise y'all that uh, we're going to change the culture here, and I think we've kept our part. And, yeah, y'all pack that thing out Thursday, and, you know, we're going to come to play. And give you a show. Give you a show. Very good.